A lot of hate-filled assholes feel emboldened in the United States right now. Uh, so my wife is a dark-skinned foreign woman, and some asshole I went to high school with wrote my wife on Facebook last year and said, why don't you go back to your country? You're probably sucking off our system. How is it possible for you to even vote here? And he blocked her so she couldn't reply. And I wrote this dude, I said, did you really write my wife and tell her to go back to her country? Then you blocked her so she couldn't reply pretty cowardly of you, don't you think, David? And he writes me back and he says, I'm just tired of liberals not giving Trump a chance. Tell your wife I'm sorry. I guess I just got carried away with all the political bickering everyone does on Facebook. And I lost my mind. I wrote this guy in such a fury. It's not everyone on Facebook. It's you, you evil white piece of shit. <laughs> How dare you take issue with my wife. And you don't have a problem with cozying up the dictators. No health care for poor people. Leaving the Paris Accord. Children in cages at the border. Blah, 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 blah. This message was this long, man. My wife made me delete it. <laughs> She made me write one sentence to this man. My wife accepts your apology. So I block my wife. <laughs> the United States is fighting for its soul right now, ladies and gentlemen, and extremists have taken over both sides. Hardcore people on the left love calling Donald Trump Hitler. That's over the top. You know, Adolf Hitler originally wanted to be an artist, but he wasn't that good at it, his painting side. That's why whenever I see an artist selling his paintings on the sidewalk or at a festival and they're not very good, I always buy a couple. <laughs> you never know what Holocaust you might be preventing. <laughs> People come to my apartment and go, man, your taste in art sucks. And I go, yeah, but think of the lives I'm saving. <laughs> Hardcore people on the right love calling people snowflakes, but they're the ones who are the most sensitive to jokes. I was in Atlanta, Georgia a couple months ago and I did a Trump joke and some woman got up and walked out of my show, man. It's a silly joke. I said the Pope was angry at Donald Trump because Donald Trump wants to build a wall at the border with Mexico. And the Pope said a Christian wouldn't build a wall. I love the Pope, but I've been in the Vatican and there's a big fucking wall around. <laughs> That's when this woman stands up and goes, I didn't come out to hear Trump jokes. I don't think a comedian should talk politics. And as she was walking out, I said, lady, if you listen to the words I spoke, one could argue that I was defending Donald Trump, that the joke is actually a slap against the Pope. But I assure you, I wrote the joke with hatred in my heart. <laughs> Every day I wake up hoping Donald Trump leaves the United States for a younger country. <laughs> Canada better not wear any short skirts around him. That's all I'm saying. Thank <laughs> you.